Hi guys and welcome back to Robert Country Cooking. Today I'm going to be preparing a quiche. What I have laying here on the table is some sausage here and I'll be telling you how to take care of this. We're going to buy this probably in half right here. I'm going to take half a tube of sausage for that quiche. And I'm going to lay this over on the counter. It's got to be fried up. And we're going to take a cup of spinach and put that in with the sausage in the pan while it's, after you get it fried up, you guys. Um, then when we're back at the table, I'm going to take the cheese and put it on, on top of that. Um, <clears throat> also, you want to have six eggs. You're going to use inside of a measuring cup. But I'm not using a measuring cup, but use um, however much you want to. I would say just sprinkle it out to your taste. Paprika, the garlic powder, you'll see me make it, guys. And a tip of garlic salt and some onion powder. And I'm going to season the taste with that. And you want to put a cup of whipping cream. And you want to put a half cup of milk. And this two, these two will be combined in with the egg. And I'm going to put all them ingredients into the mixer with the eggs and whip it. And then when we're done doing that, we'll come back over here. We'll take that off of the whipping machine. And then we'll go we're over here to the stove. And we're going to cook the sausage and the baby spinach together. And when that gets cooked down, um, we'll take the eggs and put them in. Or we'll take, I'm sorry, we'll take the meat and the spinach and we'll put it inside of the emulsifier, the blender, in other words. Not a blender, Lord, you guys. Uh, or mixer, I'm sorry. And we will mix that together. And then we'll take the eggs, the sausage, the baby spinach, and our flavors here with the milk. And we'll take our traditional Kroger pie crust. You can pick these up anywhere. It's something you bake a pie or blueberry pie or anything like that. You can pick these up at a Kroger, your local Kroger or at a Publix. And we're gonna take our mix that we have and we're gonna pour this in. But make sure that you don't go overboard when you pour this in. I'll show that in a video as well. And we're going to make a quiche. We'll put it in the oven. And we're gonna cook that for 35 minutes until it's golden brown. And I'm gonna check it with a toothpick or I'll check it with something. We'll figure that out when we get to that bridge. Um, but anyway, you want to have pie crust, baby spinach. You want to have half, half of the tube of sausage. Oh, you guys. And I didn't get the salt and the pepper did it. So I always like some of my ingredients. And you want to put salt and pepper uh, to taste. Uh, oh, I meant to do this too, guys. See? My mind is everywhere. He's, he's here. You want to make sure to have cooking spray. Um, let's see. Okay, of course. Um, six eggs, like I was saying before. Onion powder, the garlic, um, paprika. Okay, you just want to add a dash of each. And of course, you want to get your shredded cheese, the Sorrentos I have. You want to get, put uh, one cup of that. Uh, you want to put one cup of heavy whipping cream in, one cup of milk, and like I just said, bake for 35 minutes until golden brown, then we'll check it with a toothpick or whatever we've got. <laughs> but usually I'm pretty good at eyeing my food because I used to cook in the kitchen for two years. Okay, so I'm going to get my eggs out. Let me just a second. I'll try and make this a quick video, but if it's not, um, I hope you guys have patience and would like to watch this video because this video is called a breakfast quiche um but before we get started today i would like to say for you um if i have any viewers out there that's watching um i would appreciate if you would subscribe please comment and like as well as you know like i said subscribe but if you would that would help my algorithm on the youtube on youtube and uh I have a lot of more recipes coming up for you guys. Um, I like cooking desserts. I'm gonna cook some blueberry pie, peach pie, peach cobbler, uh, fried green tomatoes. 
zucchini and squashes, um, uh, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna cook guacamole. Oh, you can't cook guacamole. <laughs> what am I saying? We're gonna make some guacamole, and I'm gonna do some, you know, holiday favorites coming up here soon. So we got a lot of stuff. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll get on with the video. Anyhow, thank you for watching today. So let's get started. Okay, Doug, would you like to hip out today? Huh? Okay. You wanna come over here and crack my eggs into the blender for me? And give me a hand sanitizer. Okay, he said, give me my hand sanitizer. Okay, I will. Just a second. I think, yeah, there it is. He always likes his hand sanitizer, y'all. Hey, put a drop in it. That's his heart. Dropper. Well, that's all you need. Drop Just like, I dropped, yeah, it does, don't it? Drop or two does go on Okay, I'm gonna put these boxes dug right here, and I'm gonna put this over. We need six eggs. I need to boil them and put them in. Well, um, let me get this out for you. Put them in this right here. Crack them into that, if you don't care. Crack them into that. There they are, Doug. And if, you, if you want to work on the counter, I can get this egg away. And I'm okay. Or you can come up here on the counter if you want to. That's easier. Okay? Yeah, I'm not sure. You want to sit down? Doug? Make it harder for me. Okay, get that. Thank you, Doug. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put all that over there, cracking up the eggs. Let's see, y'all. If I seem like I'm confused back and forth, back and forth, I apologize. Okay, hold on. Um, let me see. Let me get you something here. Come in this. Come in that. Any twin crack? Just put it in there. These are the best pie crust, y'all. I like the bowl. You do it to mix them, but I love it too. It does, don't it? Okay, y'all, I'm going to put one tablespoon. You might tablespoon. see a little bit of an on here. I got a little one half there. teaspoon of salt. Here, honey. One half teaspoon of salt. Get that egg shell for me. Okay. Little don't worry about it. Or don't worry about it. A little teeny tiny one. I need something to dry my hands. Okay. You're right here on, on the fridge. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah, That's good. It's okay. We're filming. Okay, just sit down. Thank you, sweetheart. Welcome. Now, he blended. Bowl. He, uh, yeah, it's fancy. That bowl destroys the eggshells. Yeah. Um. So we've got our pepper, we've got our salt in the teeth, so we don't need more, so let's put that inside. Oh. Uh oh, duck. <laughs> he had Excuse to. me if anybody's listening, I had a little hiccup. Okay. I mean, a burp. Okay, now we're going to put a dash of each of the seeds in here. Nice. Yeah, we've got the seed seeds, um, one third. Yeah, this shirt's nice. Let me get it right, you guys. I don't like telling people wrong things. One half teaspoon, you guys. One half teaspoon of salt. Uh, pepper your eggs as desired. You want to use the paprika to your desire. I would say about the same thing. One third of paprika. I'm going to do... Let's 
see. This is so good, y'all. If y'all ain't ever eat breakfast cake. Oh my goodness. I'm sure y'all probably had it for Christmas or maybe Thanksgiving or something like that. Some people eat on Thanksgiving. I know that sounds weird. I have in my nana's house a long time ago. And like the garlic stuff, a little bit, not a lot, because that's salty too. That over there, I'm gonna get this. Over here. Open this thing, guys. That thing's new. The garlic powder, you want to flavor that to taste. Same thing, one third teaspoon. Okay, there's your onion powder. Onion powder, you want to put one third in there. It's not a lot. And when you make it for the first time and you taste it, you eat it, you'll understand how you want to make it the next time. Let's see, I'm going to this up. Get that out of the way. Okay, this is the stove over here, so get over there. Okay, get these again. I'm going to take one cup of cream milk, get out of my way, shake you whipping cream up. Heavy whipping cream, I'm going to take one cup of this, oh my goodness, I hate these little things that pull, oh there it went. One cup of heavy whipping cream. You're gonna mix this with your eggs, okay? That down in your egg. Then on top of that, it's on the outside. On top of that, pour that out some more. I don't think that out. You're gonna put a half a cup of plain whole milk. That right there. See it guys, half a cup of plain whole milk. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I need to wash my hands and that didn't get on the food. I hate sneezing. Pepper, pepper makes me do that. Okay, let me put this over here. I'm gonna put that in the sink. Throw that in the sink. I'm gonna put my whole cream in the fridge. Whole whipping, whole whipping cream, not cream, but I guess you can call it cream. And we'll throw, not throw our milk. We're gonna put our milk in the refrigerator. Okay, I'm fixing to throw you guys around here in a second. Let's get, I'm gonna put this on the mixer over here. We don't have no cheese or nothing right now. That goes in after. I'm turning you guys around. Sorry. Gonna get you guys looking at me over here. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm going to rinse that pan out. I always keep them sitting inside of each other. It's already clean, but I'm going to rinse it out. Excuse me if I'm in the way, you guys. Put the mixer down. 
Now I'm not gonna do that. Legs. Feet in the ones. Get the ends going. Okay, now with the sound fit, give it just a second. Let's just try. Okay, now with the sausage, we're going to cut the tube in half. And we just want a half a tube of sausage. I always watch it on my meat scissors. I keep them right there in the door so they're right next to me. Just take your hands like this and go like that. You know you've got half. See, just like that. Squeeze your teeth like that. That's a little trick I learned when I used to cook. And there's our half tooth. Does that up here in the sink? Get that on my way. No. Here, go ahead and turn off that. I'm using honey. I love you, baby. Get this back at the freeze. Okay, what we want to do is we want to turn our stove on high. Should have had it on. And we're going to put this in the sink. We got washed those that was raw meat. And this is that. This is to get our stuff in the pot for us. I made one of these actually, you guys, in home ec. Pretty good. And it was good. Doug, I just realized that Mama, Doug, you listen, honey. Mama used this spray when she sprayed that round thing, you know, when she cooked it, but she had too much in the oven. Yeah. So I ain't gonna use that on it today. I always keep your counter clean, mop them down. See, because if you clean as you go, you don't have to worry about a big old mess. So now that that's dirty like that, we don't wipe nothing else or nothing because that's. Well, you remember. That's our, we'll put this over here. Excuse me, you guys. Mop your staging area down. But that towel does not go for nothing else now. It's washed. I mean, it's starting to sizzle. Make sure if you use a rubber, rubber spatula, you just break it up. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting a little bit closer and y'all might want to see what's going on. Okay, so what I'm doing, I got this more up close to the stove. I'm cooking our sausage. Just want to make sure that it's cooked. Again, this is a breakfast tea, but there's all different kinds that you can make. And this will cook up fairly quick. Ooh, that's strong. Oh, I just broke my spatula. Y'all, we got to get another. That goes with garbage. That one, Gary. Can we 
wind tunnel heat that little bit is on high. I'm going to splatter a splatter of city. Yeah, I had that splatter for I can't tell you how long, so it's time to go. There's mama. Um, yeah, there's your mama bought me that spatula. You know, it just broke in the pan. Yeah, one? That red one. You know, she got me for my birthday. Yeah, I was wearing one on the That <coughs> red one. I burned the sauce to cut on. That's something I don't need to do. I'll get another one. Yeah, just make sure you get topped up, topped up very fine. Kind of like hamburg uh, hamburger meat when you're making a taco. That's what you want to look like. And get it as small as you can. Because that's what your eggs go over top of. And I'm going to start preheating my oven here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and preheat that oven. We're going to put it on 350. It right there. Okay, I'm trying not to take a lot of time cooking. Now, I'm going to go in the baby spinach because I just totally forgot about that. Seriously, oh my goodness. You want about a cup, so this is about a cup. You can pick it up with your hand, and throw it in there like that. That's a cup of spinach. Mm. For taste, that's a little more. See, everything you can add, it, like seasoning, you don't really have to measure nothing. Just throw like a cup of this, a cup of that, because you'll know, you know and just fold it in on each other. I hadn't had a keef in y'all and I couldn't see how long. But you can make this for Christmas, you can make it for, it don't have to be a holiday, you can make it just to get up and eat for breakfast. You can do it for anything really. You just want to make sure this gets seared and all that real good. Cook down. Well, using a and let's see, that's starting to look different. That's good. And y'all, spinach is very good for you. Very, very good for you. Very, very leafy. And I got some recipes I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make two different homemade pizzas. One of them's gonna be a spinach and chicken Alfredo pizza homemade. And I'm gonna do a pepperoni and homemade pepperoni and cheese pizza with a, uh, with a crust. The crust ain't gonna be homemade because I don't know how to go that far. So, ain't gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat a little bit with that, but later on I'll try. You know what I mean? Always gotta try. Can't give up. Okay, now this is our different inside. I'm gonna turn that heat on just a little bit more. I know you I'm cooking a little bit. I don't like my food raw. So I'm trying to get this finished away. So I can cook green. That has to look like, you know, they're cooked in well. As you see like that. See how they're looking different. And still looking like this. Like a leaf. You want them to look like that. Like they're being cooked. And like they're shrinking into the food. And this, uh, combined with the sausage, gives it a good flavor. Okay. Once you 
don't do, you gotta turn that off. You're gonna get your baby lettuce, baby lettuce. Listen to me, you guys. Get that over here. You're gonna remove this with the heat. We need to set that pot there, but we're not gonna use it today. I always do that. What we're going to do, I'm gonna turn this back around. I'm gonna come back up here at the counter. See if I got this right. And if y'all see like a little cage underneath there, I bought this on Amazon. It's like a countertop and my pets stay underneath. <laughs> but I'm very clean. Cause my kitchen, I have a very small area over here to cook. And then this is a big enough space top right here on top. This is over $300. Doug, um, I've got this done, so. Excuse me, y'all. That's what Mountain Dew does to you. It really does, to be honest. Makes you burp like crazy. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to pick our spinach and Spinach and sausage. I'll get out in a minute, you guys. Into the pie crust. Just a second. I got our oven heating. And um, as far as the cheese cooking, I need to cook it until it's golden brown and looks pretty on top. Scissors and another pair. Yeah, I have scissors everywhere in my kitchen. Take these. Okay. I got two. Dead bless his heart by the five pressure. But it comes with two. I was telling you too, but you have, you have all this stuff and how fresh this morning. Okay. And what you'll do is you'll take a mixture that we fried up. Just put it down in there. And this down in there. Don't worry about messing up, because as I said in previous videos, you cannot mess up food. Just fight with it and get it to the table. Um, I did want to say if I've got subscribers who are watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because that will help my algorithm on YouTube and get a father reach out to the community. And um, I'm bringing a lot of more recipes to come. What you wanna do is you just wanna stretch, uh, stretch, stretch your uh, filling out. You know, to where you feel like you want to. Let's see what the table is like, so if you guys are looking. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, this is what you want it to look like. Okay, and then after you have that done, Wait, you know. Get these off of here. Give me just a second, guys. Hold on, look, Dennis. Help me, Lord. Got something in the oven. I gotta grab it out real quick. I always do that. That's why, if y'all ever wonder why this pan here has got like a brown tint to it, I keep it in the oven. And I, when I go to cooking, I tend to, uh, Leave it in the oven, then I'll turn my oven on it to tend to it. But I'm gonna get me some pretty hands. Okay, now your next step is sorgento, shredded cheese. Hold on just a second. Okay, 
Okay. This one makes it good, y'all. About a cut of Sargento. And don't worry about paying too much. Because what will happen is your egg is going to go down into this. And it's going to make it taste good. And then what you do is just like do this. I don't like seeing them open holes. Good. Good. I don't know if nobody else is like it. Thank you, Darwin. That looks good. It does look good, good. on it? Does, oh my gosh, it smells good. It looks good. It's a great place to start. I'm trying, baby. Okay. I'm trying a new flavor of Bailey's. Oh, you did? Yeah, a lot of. Oh, okay. A lot of Irish cream. Hmm. I bet you that would be good. It's in a different color bottle too. It's in a like a beige color, sand color. How how would you say you like tell them subscribe and stuff like that? I hey guys, to watch, right? make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and be kind to each other. Y'all had to run and get me a wash rag. And this is clean, and I'm going to pick this up. I'm gonna set it right here. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna wipe my cat. I do not like cleaning on a dirty, I mean cooking, excuse me. Getting right, man. Y'all, I have been up for so long. I gotta go to sleep before you I know, You're and I've got like so much to out. do. I like being with the peach for? Uh, 35 minutes. Right. Yeah, 35 minutes. I want to yeah, thank you, Doug. You you yeah, I can. But yeah, uh, Doug's give me hints and help, helpful tree, tips. Tree, you, tips. You cook your uh, uh, teeth, Doug, right? <laughs> if you don't have any teeth, any uh, toothpicks to test your uh, pies with to see if they're dry, you put, you poke it in the pie, and you pull it up if it's got wetness on it, it's not done. If it's dry, you're, it's done. Yeah, exactly. If you don't have any toothpicks, you can use a knife to do the same thing. Exactly. And that's a tip from Doug. And what I'm going to tell you to do next, what we're going to do, is we're going to uh, take our egg mixture. Just like you do with a spaghetti noodle. If you throw it in the wall and it sticks, it's done. Yeah. If it rolls off, it's not finished. Which I don't throw mine in, uh, on the wall, but he's making a joke. I used to. No matter if you do or not. Now, if it sticks, it's done. Exactly. Is that, is that the quiche mixture? Yeah. Are you saving the rest? And this is right. You can't have that guy. This is what has to be cooked. This is what it tastes like. I don't know. I ain't tasting it raw. It's raw eggs, honey. It's got paprika and some pepper and it's just like milk, paprika, and egg. It's like pepper, garlic, everything from the seasons. Just set to the side over here, you guys. The thing I'm doing behind the scenes, I'm throwing out my pots and pans in the sink. Okay, and then you take your mixture, we cook our mix up earlier, we didn't cook. Slowly so pour, pour this. It in a pile with the cheese. Yeah, and, and just let it seep down so in. Heavenly. You let it seep down in there. Don't get too much in a hurry. Just let it sleep, seep down in there. That sense going to be heavenly. Why don't you pour the mix in first and then the cheese on top? You don't do that. Why is it done that way? Because, baby, this side glues together, honey. 
Okay, and a trick, uh, that's about right, right there. Yeah, a little hint, if there's any moisture left over on whatever tool you stick in your pie, if it's still wet when you pull it out, it's not done yet. If it's dry, then it's done. Yeah, exactly. That's the old baker's trick. Stick something in your pie to see if it's done. It could be a knife, a fork, a spoon. And what we're going to do... Most people use a toothpick. I'm going to put the key on the pizza pan, okay? In case you have any liquids that was to just go crazy in your stove, you know what I mean? <laughs> and we're going to put up the cheese. If you have any egg mixture that's left over, you can feel free to fry that up, save it, freeze it. Which I wouldn't recommend freezing that. I'd just put it in frying pan. Fry it, eat it with cheese. Be good. Okay, so now that our oven over here is on 350, we're going to cook this for 35 minutes. So let's go ahead and hit this. You know what, you guys? I'm going to pick you back toward the stove. Excuse me. I'm trying to get it done right now. Stove's open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Put the key right here into the stove, just like that. Now, we're going to talk to Alexa. Alexa, set timer. Timer for how long? 35 minutes. 35 minutes, starting now. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to let that cook for 35 minutes. But this has been Robert's Country Cooking. Like I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do, um, and I will be having a taste test with Doug in about 30 minutes, 35 minutes actually. We're going to let this get done, and I'll get it cut, and uh, then we'll go from there and we'll see what happens, and I'll upload a short and everybody else can watch it, and God bless all of you, and I hope you're having, excuse the camera shake, I hope you're having a great day. Sure, like, and subscribe, and be kind to each other. Yeah, amen, Jesus. Amen, Doug. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Easter. I will be coming up with a lot of Easter recipes and all kinds of stuff. So, like Doug said, be kind to each other, subscribe, have a happy holiday um, on Sunday. God bless all of you. Stay safe. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Comment and like and share. And that will help me and does algorithm to get our content out to more people. Thank you and have a blessed day. God bless. Bye,